Hey everyone, Alex here and welcome back to another Welcome Career 2 video. So, <clears throat> today we are going to start on Conquer Agent 1950. And of course, uh, I, uh, I remembered it. I said a while back that we're going to be doing it as the Kuomintang, aka the Republic of China, aka Taiwan. And yeah, so anyways, this video, you may have noticed, is going to be shorter because my camera isn't fully... Uh, like I'm not sure if it's uh, fully working so yeah anyways let's get started right here <coughs> okay so we uh, we are at uh, let's see we are at Taiwan obviously so yeah anyways uh, a little bit of history about the Chinese Civil War so I'm going to uh, skip all those like the long march and you know the northern expedition all the stuff and head straight on to the end of the second Sino-Japanese War in August 1945, yep. So, anyways, in <coughs> early August 1945, the Soviet Union invaded Manchuria and took Manchuria from the Japanese. And after Japan surrendered, the Soviet Union gave Manchuria to the Chinese Communist Party, aka the CCP. And yeah, and then they restarted the Chinese the Chinese Civil War. And yeah, so by 1947, the CCP launched a huge offensive on the Kuomintang, the, aka the KMT. And by 1945, the KMT have retreated to Taiwan and they only have sovereignty of Taiwan and Henan. But then in 1950, uh, the CCP took control of Henan by invading the island, obviously. So yeah, that is. A uh, little bit of history right there. So, anyways, let's get started right here. Two minutes of history lessons. Um, at least it's better than uh, one hour ones. Um, so, anyways, we will be uh, putting some cities there. And then what we are going to do is to salvage a little, bit, uh, a little bit of our forces right here. And this guy here, however, is going to die. So, let's attack that guy. Minus 39. And let's buy an industry so that we've got some industrial income. And that will be it for this turn. And <coughs> yeah, oops, whoops. Okay, so I'm gonna adjust that brightness a little bit. Um what, 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 too bright, too bright, and too blurry. Uh a bit too bright. Still a bit blurry. Okay, that should be good. Uh, anyways, uh, I'll be right on back. I need to switch off the freaking fan. So, yeah. Okay, back. And, yeah. <coughs> okay, so I guess it's not this problem right here. I need to adjust the brightness. Um, that's a bit too bright, I guess. <laughs> okay, so let's... Sorry, let's turn it back down a bit. And yeah, okay. So anyways, let's see what the CCP will be doing. And yeah, okay. So the CCP will start by attacking Southeast Asia. That artillery right there passed away. Um, yeah. So the CCP now moved into Southeast Asia. And the North Koreans, um, wow. North Koreans fail to take that city right there. Is that Pyongyang? I'm not sure. But anyways, <coughs> yeah. So, um, we've, uh, this is a race of time. And we've got to uh, quickly like help our allies out before the CCP take them out. If the CCP take them out before we can take out the CCP, it's going to be a hard battle with our small income. And... You know, so anyways, we are at round two, so a little bit of income increase right there. So let's move forces right here. We are going to land somewhere, you know, in Indochina or Henan. Right here, this is Henan. This part here, I'm not sure what is uh, what province is it. But anyways, let us retreat and defend that. So the artillery will be very important because we can attack the enemy uh, without them fighting back so we've got to put the infantry you know 
uh, kit uh, like this. So let's end the um, kit. Let's end the turn. So the CCP have a technology level of two, and that means that they can launch airstrikes, but they cannot use airborne infantry. It requires technological level of uh, three, and yeah. So we don't have to worry temporarily about Taiwan getting you know captured uh, by the CCP. What we have to worry is <coughs> the Soviet Union invading Japan, because you know. Our allies AI suck, and yeah, so the Soviet Union is going to successfully take over Japan, defeating Japan, and yeah, and then we've got to uh, drive the Soviets out of Japan. Um, that's three Japans in like one or two sentences. Wow. Um, yeah. So, anyways, let's see. Okay. <coughs> So you can see that the CCP have a ton of forces, um, but um, but I would say you know that their armor is actually quite weak. So if we can take up their tanks and their uh, armed cars, you know that they're, they're, they're just gonna be left with their infantry, and the infantry is of course uh, the best that you can get. But hey, what can an infantry do? You know. Um, can't really one shot armored cars or you know maybe they can take out artillery but yeah so anyways you don't capture Chongqing wow this is what I mean by your allies AI suck Chongqing right there defended by a half dead infantry unit and then they don't capture it you see it's just like almost dead you know and then they don't capture it wow I clap for you man okay so anyways uh, let's get back to this and we are at round three if i'm not wrong so anyways let us buy an industry okay let's end the turn so we've got uh nothing to do in the early stages of uh this game right here uh it's only really until we take over um the china then we will really start to you know get a ton of income and once we, you know, control mainland Asia, we can, you know, fight off the Soviet forces in Japan. And yeah, so, yeah, so our first task is to capture Chongqing, you know, if the allies, if our allies aren't going to do it, then we are going to do it. That is our goal. And then we will move on, uh, we'll play a defensive war and then slowly move on to capture Nanking and Shanghai, and then we will move on into Peking. Uh, I believe that's Beijing, but whatever. So yeah, and that's our plan. And then once we capture these four cities, the Chinese, uh, I mean the CCP, would have practically nothing left to fight against us, and that will be good news. So yeah, okay. That's okay, it's a bit warm right here. <clears throat> so I can't find a suitable suitable landing spot for our forces. Okay. So we are at round thirty uh round four, not round thirty seven. I thought I, I s okay, never mind. Anyways, let's move here. And Okay, so the CCP is gonna bust through right here. And it's not gonna be good, so let's um let's end the turn. So <coughs> yeah, okay. So anyways, this uh playing this as the KMT takes skill and more luck. So it's like basically is is about your luck mainly because you know you have to wait until the CCP you know leave their cities um. Defend, undefended before you can move in and take over the cities and increase your income yeah otherwise you can't really like confront the CCP directly you don't have the you may have uh, forces that are superior but you're never gonna uh, win them because your, your um, what is it called 
income is not as great. They've got like 400, 500 income. You only got like what? 30. So, yeah. So that's why we will be playing a defensive war. And yeah, okay. So, so, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, I have to stop saying okay. But anyways, uh, the, the CCP have broken through India's defences. And we now need to, you know, crush the CCP in the West. That is not gonna go that well because, you know, our, our forces there are quite sucky. You know, we don't have, like, I don't know, level 4 armoured cars and level 4 heavy tanks. Anyways, we can't even build heavy tanks. But anyways... I'm going to end the video right here because, uh, as I've said, this video is going to be shorter and I'm going to test my camera's capability first before I, you know, move on to record 15 minute long videos. But anyways, that is going to be it, unfortunately. So yeah, thanks for watching guys and girls, of course, I mean ladies and gents, whatever. And yeah, so... If, you're, if you like this video, please do remember to leave a like down below. And if you're new to this channel, please do remember to subscribe as well. So yeah, thanks for watching. Have a nice day. And of course, goodbye.